guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and on this episode of the Taxidermy Witch, we're going to do something really cool. Over here, I've got, I just made something to paint my face in a beauty regimen, so I want to show that to you, okay? We talked about in Scott Cunningham's Magical Herbalism in the couple of videos just before this, all about avocado and its properties and how I was going to make it in a face scrub, and then I talked about it in the next video, what's a my dehydrator, okay? So, as, I, when you watch my channel, I just, I'm doing witchcraft as I go along throughout the day. So here we are. Here is what it looks like, and to me, and see, it's, I just mished this up, it's still bright green. It's still bright green inside, still full of all the beautiful, wonderful qualities. Before I add it up, and this is the dried pit, that I've run over a microplane after it's been dehydrated and dried and then this acts as a scrubbing agent on your skin. Now for a long time I've been wanting to put this into a face scrub but had no idea what to make as the base. Well today when we're reading in Scott Cunningham's uh, Witchcraft in the Kitchen we read that it is excellent for a face and, and avocado itself is put into beauty cream. So I'm like, there you go. How is that not like ultra perfect? To me, it looks like a green German mustard. So if you <laughs> get this and it looks like a green German mustard, you're doing it right. I'm just going to use my hands, you guys. My hands are my best magical tool. Here we go. If you think that I don't do anything for you guys, you're wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to apply it in a mask just like you would see uh, and I'm just going to try and like exfoliate as I kind of go. Once I have it as a mask on my whole face, I will start, and I'm using this as a mirror, so this will be fun. I will start to really exfoliate. And I'm going to let you see me take it off and all of that. And then I'm going to talk about how my face feels. So right now it feels really cool. Like there's a really cool element to it. And it also feels like, well, it smells amazing. This avocado, when I tasted it, it tasted absolutely divine. I know that it does not look appealing. Whoop! <laughs> I know that it does not look appealing, but it smells great. And it's made out of one thing, the avocado. And that's very fresh. I just I just mushed it up and the dried pit. So it's not really staying on my face like I thought it would as a mask. So I'm just gonna put this towel on my lap so that it catches anything and just kind of massage it into my face. I will save the rest for tomorrow but I since this is something that really oxidizes meaning that when the avocado hits the air it starts to turn brown and right now it's green. The only thing that's making it not bright green on my face is the fact that I put that dried pit into it from that jar right there. So I'm just gonna like let it sit and kind of massage it on my face. Um, you could definitely use this in the shower. This would be a great thing to use in the shower as you wouldn't be getting dirty like I am now. But I didn't want to bring you guys in my bathroom because there's not enough space to film in there and everything. And I did mush this up. So the, the clumps that are there are just kind of like the avocado peels. Now it's starting to feel, starting to feel tingly a little bit. I put a little bit of magical intention over this, not a ton. because I didn't have a lot of time between, I didn't want it to turn like dark brown. It does look pretty bad. But I know that it's doing amazing things. So avocados, all the qualities, lust, love, and what was the third one? Lust, love. Oh, and beauty. Lust, love, and beauty. So that's why we're definitely using it for the beauty regimen. <clears throat> Avocado has omega-3 fatty acids in it. And the 
peel, or not the peel, the peel I'm drying in the dehydrator used for magical workings for either beauty, love, or lust. And when you dehydrate it at a low temperature, it doesn't kill any of the vitamins. And that's important when we're doing it for a beauty regimen. Because the vitamins from the inside of the pit and the magical goodness from the inside of the pit, it doesn't become cooked out of there at that point. And you don't want that. It does feel like it's exfoliating, definitely. I feel like if I put salt in here, it would really be exfoliating, but salt has really different magical qualities than I want to be putting in this. And also, doesn't salt suck moisture out of your face? So that wouldn't be good, I think. I'm trying not to get any of this in my hair, but I think I failed on that one end. So in general, it feels really good. I feel like it's probably exfoliating and sloughing off some stuff. I'm doing a video. Is your salad okay? Yeah. So it's cool that this beauty mask is made of one thing and a lot of time and energy went into it because I took a lot of time to dehydrate all of those knowing that I was going to use it for some sort of beauty regimen but not knowing exactly what. I'm going to start to take this off of my face. My skin has quite a red tone to it naturally, so don't be frightened by that. It's not a reaction from anything. My skin's just really red without makeup on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was going to string it for you. I just popped some popcorn so I can string some for a Yule video for you guys. Okay. And this is like making my neck red because I'm rubbing it off with a dry paper towel. But I do have some moisture here. What do you guys use to moisturize and everything? I would love to know. What do you guys use and do you make any of your own beauty regimens? I'm going to actually use some rainwater to take this off. I've got a bowl of rainwater under there. But yeah, my skin gets irritated pretty easily, so just all this rubbing is making it really red. But naturally, it does have a red tone. <sighs> okay, so my face feels really soft. It's much softer to the touch. Oh, wow. It's really soft. It feels really soft. Um, I feel like I should have let that sit there for a long time, like perhaps put um, a mask really thicker on my face, laid down and let it sit there. That would probably be really nice and I'll probably do that with the rest of this and then tell you guys about how it worked. But basically, that's not something I would do for a lot of people, but it is something I would do if I was sitting here with my best friend. And I say that all the time. That's what my channel is about. Come and do witchcraft and sit with your best friend, Jen, the taxidermy witch. And uh, she'll teach you anything she can and everything she can. And if she doesn't know it, she's got a library of books that she will like go through with you. Um, if you don't know about my Patreon, please check it out. It's linked in the description below. It starts even at a dollar and goes up as to as much as you can afford. But there's lots of different tiers and I've spent a lot of time creating them. 
but these videos do cost a little bit of money. Um, you know, this video, just in general, this very uh, mix here, costs the price of the avocado, which right now is $4. And over time, all those herbal videos do add up. For those of you who support my channel, thank you so much. And you support me not just in Patreon, I'm talking about also in your love, your support, your comments, your feedback. All of that is support to me, and I appreciate it. Thanks for coming back here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I now have soft red, but soft skin. Bye, you guys.